What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Nurse Shawnee. I'm going to show you guys how I have really downgraded packing for these trips, as well as give y'all a little spin around of my living situation here in California. So if you want to see that, keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all a little spin around of my living situation. Talk to you guys about packing as well as do sort of an update on housing options for travel nurses because I get that question a lot of times. So let me flip the camera around. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> y'all remember MTV Cribs? Anyway, let me give y'all a quick spin around of my hotel. So yes, I'm staying in a hotel. Um, it is a Hilton property. It's their home suite two, which I actually love because it gives you like a real homey vibe. So here I have a full um, size refrigerator. The hotel will provide you with this cooktop. Now they only give you this one pan, but if it's just you cooking for yourself, you can do a couple things with that. There are dishes here, which I never use. Um, you got silverware and spatulas and things, bowls, a cutting board, dish towels. Oh, I didn't even know this toaster was in here. Look at that, a toaster. There is a dishwasher, which I definitely never use. This has become my saving grace as far as cooking. Do you cook on your travel assignments? Most of the time I do cook though. Saves me money, calories, time, all that. Um, but this is an air fryer, a grill, and you can bake broil. It's pretty neat. They have cups and glasses and a coffee maker, which again, I never use that. A microwave, pretty cool. Y'all wanna see what's in my refrigerator? I have, it's very boring, broccoli, rice cauliflower, one little haagen cauliflower pizza crust, so exciting. <laughs> and in my refrigerator, I've got some fruit, half dozen eggs, I got some cold pressed juices. I am really excited about trying these. I got these from Whole Foods. I get all my groceries delivered via Amazon Whole Foods or Amazon Market. So convenient. Um, the fruit I got from the produce market near here. But yeah, I don't have anything too exciting. Some spinach, some lettuce, butter. I have some Parmesan cheese, some plant-based burgers, some chicken breast, um, and more, more fruit. That's as exciting as it gets for me. <laughs> All right, this is the sitting area slash, I guess, living room kind of thing. And the bedroom. Normally I just get a king size bed, but my mom is coming to visit, so I got two beds this time. Lots of drawer space that I don't use. Um, TV, another thing that I don't always use. I just use it for background noise. Let's see what this is. Yep, some shelf space, some drawers, and my little closet over here. That's all I need. Like, it's everything I need. So, let's get right into the packing situation. So, I have a few outfits here. My, like I said, my mom's coming to visit, and so we may go to Napa. We're gonna do some sightseeing. So I have a, just a few pieces. Normally, I don't even really have clothes here because I just go to work and sleep and work and sleep, <laughs> and that's it. So that is all the clothes that I have here for like going outside, I guess. I got shoes. Two pair of sneakers, one for the gym, one I wore those here this week. My Crocs, the flip flops, and these. That's it. And 
Now, let's get into this suitcase. So, on my last packing video, which I'm going to link right here, I showed you guys what I packed when I came out here in November. I have downgraded because I've realized I don't need all that stuff. So, hold on. Let me mount the camera. All right. So, people, I'm going to adjust this to here. All right. So, people always ask me, what do you pack when you go on a travel assignment? I really think it depends on where you're going, how long you're going to be there, and what your assignment is like. In this assignment, I am able to fly home every other week. So I'm here for a week, home for a week. And that's very unique to this position. So all that stuff that I packed in the beginning, because when you go on a travel assignment, you think about 13 weeks, I'm going to be there for three months. I need to have a lot of stuff. You don't need a lot of stuff. That is like rookie travel nurse in 101. What you need is the things that you need to perform your job functions, which I'm going to show you that. Um, you don't need everything from home. You don't need all the comforts from home. So like I showed you guys, I have a blanket on my bed. I bought that while I was here. The bath mat in the bathroom. Did I show you all the bathroom? I think I showed y'all the bathroom. We'll go in the bathroom. But I have a bath mat in the bathroom, and that's something I bought when I got here. So you can buy things when you get to your assignment, and you will most likely buy things when you get to your assignment. But you just need the things that you need, again, to start out on your assignment. Don't pack too much because you're going to be stuck with a lot of unnecessary things. You got to take that stuff back home. The worst thing that you want at the end of your assignment is to have to take tons of stuff back home. But anyway, what do I have in my suitcase? Let me make this taller so my body is not cut off. Okay, I think that's it. Yay! So in my suitcase, what I have is scrubs. Obviously, I need them for work. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I think it's really six, but I've already worn some. So I have six pairs of scrubs. I, listen, I'm a woman of a certain age. I hate wearing bras to work now. So what I like to wear to work is a bralette. And I am addicted to skims. It's a terrible addiction, but anyway. So I like to wear a bralette under my uniform. Um, it doesn't give the most support, but it's enough support under my scrubs and I'm comfortable. I feel like there's nothing worse than wearing a bra because I always wear bras with underwire. 12 hours, it's a no for me. This sports bra or a bralette works wonders. So I have a couple of those in here. Um, I have a scrub jacket for if I get cool. It is very cold here in the Bay Area. So a jacket is necessary at all times. So scrubs, um, all my undergarments. Here, I have a double, double of those. I don't know why, every time I travel, if I'm going somewhere for six days, I need like 15 pair of panties. It's some kind of weird obsession, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I have plenty of socks. I never wear white socks. Nursing school, yeah, nursing school taught me I don't wanna wear white socks ever again. So I got all kinds of colorful socks. I have workout clothes. I have some scrub caps and a few headbands in case I just want to accessorize my hair. Pajamas, a sweatshirt. That's it. That's all I have. This is easy. It fits in my carry-on bag. That's it, that's all I got. So I have just the things that I need for work, to exercise. That's it, that's it, that's all. And I showed y'all the little bit of clothes that I have in the closet. That's it, I mean, easy breezy. Um, Let me take this down. All right, so let's go to the bathroom. Cause. We didn't tour that space. That's just a regular old bathroom. So this is my bath mat that I was telling you guys about. And it's just that, you know, when you get out the shower and you wanna have a 
something soft to step on. Is it just me? Anyway, um, I got my toiletry bag here with all my toiletries. I always have cleaning supplies. And I don't know if I told y'all this before, but I don't like bar soap. So to wash my hands, so I always, always buy hand soap no matter where I travel. Then I got all my, my little doodads and stuff. My face brush. I did a, a review of this brush. Highly recommend it. I will put the link below if you want to order it and get a discount on your face brush. That's it. That's it. All right. Now that y'all saw my crib and how I have downgraded my packing, let's talk about housing options for travel nurses. First of all, my preference for this assignment has been staying in hotels and I will tell you why um when I first came here they were offering frontline worker rates which the rates were really really good for frontline workers and so I was able to take advantage of those low rates and rack up all these hotel points like this week I paid half of what I normally would pay because I used all my Hilton points to book this hotel. So I have been racking up frequent flyer miles and um, Hilton points or hotel points, Hilton, Marriott, whoever. Listen, I don't discriminate. I don't care what the name of the hotel is, <laughs> the hotel chain is. I'm gonna get my points, okay? So I've been racking up my frequent flyer miles, racking up hotel points, and it is really beneficial if you are someone who travels a lot. So make sure that if you are a travel nurse and you are staying in a hotel, make sure you sign up for their point system because you can really have free stays and you can use those points whenever, wherever you go. When I went to Puerto Rico back in May, I used the frontline rate and racked up on the points. We stayed at that nice hotel, that nice resort for a really, really good rate. And here's another hotel tip. If you stay in a hotel, for 90 consecutive days, then all the taxes that you pay for your stay will be refunded for you. So that's just a little tip that I didn't know when I started out as a travel nurse. I found that out when I was staying in an extended stay in Massachusetts. You have the option to look into Airbnb. A lot of travel nurses use Furnish Finder to find housing leads in whatever location they're going to. Um, I've had success with that. My housing when I was in um, California before, I found through Furnish Finders. So I feel like any kind of referral system is hit or miss. It may or may not work for you, but it is certainly an option that you can look into. So shared housing is an option and that would be where you share housing with other travel nurses and or rent a room or a space in somebody's home. And I know it sounds kind of weird to be like renting a room in somebody's house. But for me, the last time I did it, it worked out well. I feel like you just have to feel it out and see if it's something that works for you. And everything is not for everybody. That's why you got options, okay? So that's an option for you. Or you can allow your company that you're contracted with to find housing for you. Now that is kind of like the option where you don't have as much control over your housing stipend because you actually probably either your stipend is gonna be reduced significantly or you won't receive a stipend because the company is going to be using those funds to find housing for you. But that is an option. Like, so as a travel nurse, you have to know who you are and what things are of value to you. So if you don't wanna be bothered with finding housing for yourself, let your company do it. But just know that you won't have as much control over the financial portion because they're gonna be using those funds to secure your housing. I always want to secure my own housing because I want control over that part of my financial picture. Because travel nurses are compensated by attaching an hourly rate to 
the hours that you work, you get a housing stipend and a meal stipend in most situations. Every situation is different. But for the most part, that is the pay breakdown for a travel nurse. Um, so those are your options. So you really have to evaluate again, what's gonna work for you. For me, living in a hotel is just convenient. Like I can book my hotel, I come in, I work my shifts, somebody is here to clean up if I request that. Um, as you guys can see, I have in this property, everything that I need to prepare, meals, like it's just very convenient for me. So I'm at a place in my life where I'm gonna pay for convenience. That's just, that's just how it is for me. But some people are like, nope, I need the bare minimum. Just give me a place to sleep. So that I can come here, grind out my shifts and go home. So for that person, renting a space in someone's home or an Airbnb um, that is of minimal cost might be a better option for you. But you got options, okay? Explore all of your options. Don't just look at this situation like, I want to be a travel nurse, but I don't know how I'm going to find housing. I just gave you plenty of ways to secure housing for you as a travel nurse. So don't use that as a reason or an excuse for you not to live out your dreams, okay? Listen, life is short. We only get one time to spin around this earth. Do your best. Make it your best life while you are here. Don't look at those things that may be kind of limiting because you're trying to figure out how to do things when sometimes the best way to figure something out is to actually go out there and do it and use your experiences to be a great teacher for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to y'all on the next one. Peace out.